what is up guys this is Grenzi here and this is part 3 of this tutorial as you can see I removed the donut and removed all this code we had here and now all we have is the form and I'm going to show you in this tutorial the fourth way to blend two picture boxes one of them is transparent in front of a background picture box there are two ways basically the easy way and the more fun way I'll, I'm going to go with the fun way which gives you more advanced options so we're going to create a new class and we're going to call it transparent picture box now this is going to be a public class and we're going to get using system drawing and using system dot windows dot forms and this is class is going to inherit picture box class so if we now refresh everything here as you can see it changed the symbol because it notice it is a control because we inherit a control and this is okay nothing nothing to worry this is absolutely normal so what we want to do here you want to cre first create our constructor transparent picture box and it's going to get a picture box background and a image my image let's call it and it is also going to like use the normal base um, uh, constructor of picture box what we're going to do here is write first of all we write to write this image is equal to my image and base dot image is equal to my image and now the spatial thing we want to do is let's add two privates private int background top background left and let's write this background left is equal to background dot left and this background top is equal to background dot top and top it all we're going to make this size equal to my image dot size and base size equal to my image dot size which are the same and now we're going to do the magic we're going to write in background dot controls dot add this and we're going to add this and we can do it because we can send a transparent picture box because it inherits from picture box and you can add a picture box to a control list so it is a valid thing to do and now if we go here and we want to make a transparent picture box transparent picture box TPB and let's do new transparent picture box and it this back and image dot from file and we're going to write here pictures backslash donut dot png and 
if we run this it should be like that something important I forgot is to write um, uh, let's do this left equal to back this background left this top equal to this background top and same with base left equal to this background left and base top equal to this background top and this back color equal to color transparent and base back color equal to color transparent and now this should perfectly work and you can see it also has the shadow which we had to remove now let's actually make the movement of it and all we have to do here is add the key up event so let's redo this um, I'm, my, my bad yes um, I meant to do the form key up event so let's search it here it is and here what we do is switch e key code and all we have to do really is actually let's save it as a private so we have um, uh, valid access to it um, uh, regardless of whether it's in any method in this object which is form one um, uh, private transparent picture box yes okay and why is this a problem tpb and tpb yes okay and case keys dot right we're going to this tbp left and it should go right so it should be like that case keys left this tbp left minus equal five and break the switch case and case keys up this tbp top is going to minus equal five and break and case keys down and this tbp top plus equal five now if we test it as you can see it moves perfectly the con with this thing is let's actually do the exact same thing on key down so the, pr the con of actually using it is you can see it right here so this one is good if you want to put it in the bounds of the of the actual picture of the background it can't live it can go out to this and if we use the other method all we have to do so it can go out from the background as we move it is just write this very simple thing just do a try and a catch and yes that's it really so that's it for this tutorial this is how you do the other option um, uh, this is just to make it nice and easy so thank you guys very much for watching i'll see you next tutorial goodbye this is actually it for the series so we had a good run hope you guys found this tutorial useful if you did please 
leave a like, write a comment for what should I do on the next tutorial, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. Bye bye.